so I follow a lot of other people on social media and a lot of clean, you know, clean beauty people. And one of the things I thought about that we need to bring more attention to is not that the fact that <clears throat> just in our lip, like I make this comment all the time, like you can't buy paint with lead in it, but you can buy makeup with lead in it. Not this makeup, but you can buy makeup with lead in it. And I want to just be clear. Um, usually it's not like they're putting the ingredient lead in and they're putting that on the label. Like A, if they're using it, which is highly unusual. I mean, it, it's lead is something that usually is in the mix when it gets manufactured. So chances are they don't put it in there on purpose, but your question should be, are they testing to see if there's lead and heavy metals in your products? There's very few companies out there that are doing it. I'm going to try to do a deeper dive and find out. Beauty Counter is obviously one of them, but that is a big deal now these days, friends. It's not just a matter of like what you're using. It's in the manufacturing process. Things can get into the products that shouldn't be there, like heavy metals and lead and PFAS, if you haven't heard of that yet. Um, that was an issue we were having here in Wilmington with our water. It's supposed to be cleaned up. We still don't know for sure if it is, but these are endocrine disrupting, hormone disrupting ingredients that can cause a lot of havoc on your health and um, actually are linked to certain diseases. So that's the question you should be asking now. It's not just a matter of like, what's in it? Let me look at the ingredients. It looks okay. I'm going to use it. But do a little bit of a deeper dive into the company itself. Are they testing for these things that we don't want in our products? So that's the question. Are they heavy metal testing? Are they testing for PFAS? Take a look and see what you find.